Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion Starseeker 4 130mm reflecting telescope. It's the latest in our line of Starseekers, the Starseeker 4, like I mentioned. So let's go over some of the features and tell you more about the telescope. Uh, well, first of all, it's 130mm, that's 5.1 inches, uh, reflecting telescope. That's a nice size for seeing all sorts of things in the night sky, from the moon and planets, so you can see the rings of Saturn, moons around Jupiter, uh, five inch lets in enough light to see a lot of the deep sky objects as well. So most of the Messier objects, if you can get away from the city lights, are visible. Uh, Orion Nebula, Andromeda Galaxy, and many fainter things as well. But the, the great thing about this telescope is that it sits on the Starseeker 4 mount. And that's the most important thing. It's a fully robotic go-to telescope. So you punch in what you want to see into the hand controller after doing a two-star alignment, and the telescope will go to the object robotically, center the object, and then continue to track it as it moves through the sky. So it's fully robotic and you just get to enjoy the view and you don't have to hunt down the, the object itself. There's some nice improvements over the previous uh, versions of the Starseeker line. Uh, first of all, we've got these nice uh, steel tripod legs, nice and sturdy. One big advantage of the GOTO system is the dual encoders that are built into the, to the axes. On most GOTO telescopes, if you were to use the two-star alignment and then go to an object. If you were to then move the scope manually, the computer would not know that you've just done that. So now the computer's lost and you've got to redo the alignment. But with the dual encoders, it listens to those motions. So let's say I'm looking at Jupiter here and then I manually wanted to move the scope over here for some reason. Now if I was to uh, tell the hand controller to go back to Jupiter, it would automatically know exactly where it is and it would go back to the original spot where Jupiter was and you haven't lost anything. One big advantage you can do with that is, let's say um, you are looking at Jupiter here and then you want to look at something on the other side of the sky. Well, you can save some of the battery power because the, the biggest uh, draw of the batteries is when you're in full slewing mode. So you can manually move the scope over to where you think the object is nearby, right there, and then tell it what you want to see on the hand controller and it will do the last little bit of motion with the go-to system. And so you can quickly and easily get to any spot in the sky. Also, the uh, battery pack, it's eight AA batteries. It's built into the mount now instead of a separate pa power pack. Uh, and the telescope comes with a DC power cord, so you can plug it into any um, external 12 volt source. The scope comes with two eyepieces, a 23 millimeter and a 10 millimeter wide angle eyepiece. And you get an easy finder, finder scope on the side. That's for doing the initial star pointing alignment. All right, well, there you have it, the Orion Starseeker 4 130mm reflecting telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.